Yo, what's up? We are back doing some crappy fishing today um, on a lake you guys have seen me shoot videos on previous years, but nothing this year so far. I can finally get over to this area here. Um, it's been cold the last couple nights. Um, well, I think today it's high as 16, so not horrible, but could finally make it over to this spot here. And today we're going to try and catch some bigger crappies. We'll see. I've been catching a lot of small ones, you know, that 10 and a half to 11 inch range. I'd like to get some 12 pluses, maybe a 14. But got the old tuned up custom rods, precision noodle here, 36 incher. Now, I like a long rod when I'm targeting big crappies. You know why? Because when a big crappie shakes its head, guess what? That long rod absorbs those head shakes a lot better. Um, normally I use my bull whip for bigger crappies, but my bull whip is at home. I thought I grabbed my bull whip, but I did not grab my precision noodle, but precision noodle is a great pan fish rod regardless. So today I'm using a big, look at that. That's a two and a half inch soft plastic there on just a, a, uh, this is a four millimeter tungsten with a long shank on it, much longer shank, that way the hook's sticking out, get a lot more penetration on that fish's mouth area. And for my unit, I'm busting out the old Markham M1 for fishing these crappies today. Um, haven't had much time, haven't had, haven't had it out much, I should say, this year. And I just wanna break it out, you know, just to show you guys that, you know, it's, it's nice having like the LX7 or the MX7 or the M5, all of them. I just want to show you guys that you don't have to have the like most expensive unit to catch fish. You know, we want you guys to have the best unit that works for you. So, anyway, I am going to start hole hopping and looking for big crappies. And you're coming with. Let's do it. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Get my gloves off here. Ooh. Big. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we come off. Oh, you guys. The first fish was a freaking donkey. It was a freaking straight donkey. Ooh. There's another one, though. Oh, he quit right at the end. Some others down here. We'll pass them and pull one of these numbers and see what happens. Here comes another one. Big bait today. That one lifted me up. Come on, man. Come back. Right there. There's one. That one smashed it. Uh -huh. Come on. Is this a, it is a crappie, right? Yeah, big. Big crappie. Those are the ones we've been looking for. Those are the fish we've been looking for. That big, big. 
big crappies. Man, that is a sight to behold, you guys. All right, we downsized a little bit. I literally have part of a Bobby Garland plastic on there and then a four millimeter RBM jig. Mm. I'm gonna flip this around. See, I think regardless, as long as it's hooked some way in the plastic, these fish are very, <clears throat> these fish are getting very aggressive. And as long as they see something that resembles what they think is a bait fish, they're coming after it. This one here is decent. Decent, oh yeah. I can get them up into my hole. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, boys. Oh, there. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The fish we're looking for right there. Solid, probably 12 inch fish. Let you go. We're going to let you go. We're not keeping anything today. <clears throat> I don't think I would have kept you anyway. You're a little too big. donkey right there boys there we go that's what I'm talking about oh. all right let's get him back in the water quick get out of here dude it's a nice fish there's a nice crappie a nicer one anyway I believe oh boy must the Oh, it's a freaking tank of a bluegill. Holy bananas, you guys. Look at that. That's a freaking donkey. Straight donkey. Little gill. Oh. Look at that thing. Kind of out off the edge of the cone. For this one, this one came ripping in. I said, Let me see that ripper you got on your line there. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, gosh, yeah, it's a nice fish. If I can get him out of my there, we go. That is a nice crappy right there, boys. Very nice. There's one. That's decent. Oh yeah. Took them forever to bite. But, but he did. He did bite it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He seen me and I don't know if he got scared or what. But there he is. There he is. That's what we're looking for. Another really nice crappie. There we go. You know, I think the key is to get this <clears throat> jig so it's horizontal. That way it has the profile, you know, just hang in there. They don't like it. Got to get it horizontal so you can jig and get that tail to flick. There's a nice one. That's big. This is going to be big. Mm, it's going to be big. I like that small profile transducer there. Come on, you big bad mamma jamma. Whew, yeah, big, I'd say. Oh, boyaz, look at that. All right, let that big boy go. Mm.
There's a big one. Oh yeah. yeah there we go. And get him up here anyway. Oh my sinker. Ooh, yeah, big. Big. <laughs> Sorry little guy, I hooked him in the eyeball. I did. We're gonna let you go. My sinker. Guys, I gotta take care of that. That almost that almost hurt my uh stuff here. There's one. Mm-hmm. Fish feels good. Fish feels good. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a really nice fish. <laughs> All day long, boys. Hammer City. Hand's getting kind of numb. I'm thinking a whole lot of you. Oh, this is a nice fish. Little bite. Come on. They look. They just. They're like almost like they're like yes, and they're like no. There's one. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Right below the ice too. Nice. <laughs> oh. Inhaled that jig. You know, this these new jigs from RBM that I've been trying are just knocking it out of the park. But I still got to give it up to Panfish Pirate over there, Alex Levenhagen, for making such a fantastic soft plastic, you guys. His soft plastics, they not only work, but they don't fall apart after one fish. You know, they're the perfect mixture of, you know, of softness so the fish still bite them, but toughness so they don't just fly off every time you catch a crappie. There's one. Nice fish. Nice fish. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> Look, at Look at the profile on this thing. That's ridiculous. That is a freaking swamp donkey right there. Guess what? You got it. He's gone. Right back down the hole where he came from. Right back down the hole where he came from. Those are the fish that make it worth the trip out here, you know. <clears throat> Most places in Minnesota right now, you don't have a lot of four-wheeler access. Ooh. Oh, I missed him. He just barely bit too. Light biting. Come on. No, turn around. There you go. He's coming again one more time. Got him. Got him. Oh. He's fighting like a bluegill. Oh, it's a big trappy, though. Big crappie though. Oh, I get my deucer out of there. There we go. Another big crappie. Another dandy. Beautiful. Look at that ripper. Still like immaculate. After pumping out slab after slab. I think there's any more slabs down there. really really nicely really fast coming up the water column 
And he's big. Oh, he's big. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. Nice one. We're back down the dripper. Gosh, it just knock. <laughs> Tough, you guys. Tough. Some, of them, most of them just come up and change your mind. Maybe that one didn't. What if they don't? Sometimes their bites are just so subtle. That's why it, you know you really need a rod like the Precision Noodle here to see those super light bites. This guy's acting like he's the Kukamunga Krakakilla. Oh yeah, because he is. It's because he is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at that. 12 and a half to 13. Definitely. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, come on there, funny there, buddy. There's a nice one. These fish are hitting it like it's January or February outside. Ooh, come on, oh, don't. They're, I mean, they are just bumping it. Look at that. Another freaking donkey, boys. Another donkey. Oh, my hands are so cold. <laughs> Another. Another hammer. Just dropping hammers left and right. There's one. This one's got some attitude. Crappy. Always oh, hooked under the jaw. It's like a 12 incher. Hooked underneath the jaw. You guys. No wonder he has some attitude. <clears throat> it's a nice fish. Come on. Oof, this one looked really been nice. He come right up the hole for a second he did anyway. <laughs> come on. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Giant, oh, ah, not, not giant giant I guess. Probably 12 and a half. Oh. Look at that, another freaking awesome crappie, man. Hey everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that video. That was a freaking smash fest on giant slabs. It was absolutely epic, man. So I started out with that big soft plastic. I caught one or two. I lost a really big one right at the hole. And then these fish were coming up and they're just their 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 body language is telling me I want a bite, but I don't want nothing, you know, that big. So we end up dropping down to actually um, this very jig here with a small Bobby Garland plastic on it. And we caught a few crappies, but then I just knew if I dropped down to this guy here. See that? That is a ripper. Mm, that is a ripper on this is a ripper right here. Make Alex Levenhagen makes those over Panfish Pirates. Make, you can buy these in like a treasure chest. You can buy a bunch of them. I uh, will put his link down below. You guys need to go check them out. Those plastics are awesome because they're nice and soft and pliable, but they don't fall apart. Once you know when you caught when you catch one uh, 
when you catch one fish. Anyway, oh yeah, of course, <laughs> you guys saw dropping the hammer on them with the old M1. It, this unit worked fantastically. Like I was in about 19 feet of water and had no issues seeing all those fish, no issues seeing the bite. Um, awesome, awesome unit. Uh, tuned up custom rods, 36 inch precision noodle. I think I might have explained that at the beginning, but you could see I was fighting a lot of those fish, those head shakes. This rod absorbed them very nicely. Got some big crappies in this rod. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, smash fest on giant crappies. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Pow. I was angry.